The proliferation of small arms and light weapons in Nigeria is a security and humanitarian issue as it worsens conflicts and results in high death tolls directly from their use. This has serious implications for the country's development. During Tuesday's plenary session, a federal lawmaker is proposing the amendment of the Firearms Act, which he says is intended to provide for the destruction of firearms brought illegally into the country and also offers stiffer penalties for illegal possession of firearms. He argues that this amendment would help Nigeria address its unrelenting security challenges. To provide for stipulated time within which the destruction of the unserviceable firearms must be carried out, except where there is a valid order of the, to the contrary, court order to the contrary. To provide an effective, coordinated, and sustained legislative strategy to address the underlying factors encouraging the circulation of arms and concurrently block the outlets through which illicit firearms are proliferated. It's a legislation which lawmakers support. As long as we have porous borders, I doubt whether, no matter how effective we have the legal framework, we we'll continue to have these issues. As long as some people feel threatened, some groups, because make no mistake about it, it's not just the criminal element that are buying guns. You have some communities finding their ways of buying you know, guns for self-preservation. Why? Because they think that the Nigerian state is not protecting them. So I support the bill, but I think we should, in, in, in assenting, I mean, in assenting to uh, the passage of this bill, I want to draw, my, draw our attention to the fact that there are larger issues that attend or surround uh, the issues of insecurity that we have been agitating. And once again, this is another opportunity to bring it to the fore. There is no compromise for stiffer penalties for anyone caught with an illegal arm. The security situation can still be reversed once we continue to remain focused and remain committed. As the legislature proposes different laws to address the spread of small arms and light weapons in the country, government can control the accumulation and prevent its abuse through effective regulation targeting the control of illegal and illegal sources of small arms and light weapons. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.